I did. So like, for example, my personality, I'm very big picture oriented. So I can start to live in the future. And my husband, he's very now and present because usually we marry our opposite. And he will say, Sharon, you're worried about things that haven't even happened yet. Like come back into now, <laughs> you know, focus on what we're doing now. And, and, you know, we can get so caught up in so many things that we miss those important moments with our loved ones, with, you know, what are the goals that we can do today? Yes, we want to map out long term, but we're not, we're not in the future yet. And we're not going to get <laughs> to there if we don't do what we need to do today. So it's remembering to be present. And um, I'm not a big, like, uh, you know, meditation is a big thing. And, and what is meditation? It's simply just like taking a moment, take a deep breath and kind of grounding yourself. I mean, that's really, that's what meditation is for me. And just, you know, you get so busy and it's like everything's swirling around you. And it's like, just pause, take a deep breath. Everything's okay. What are my goals for today? What are a couple of things that I can do right now today to move my life forward? How can I love my family more? What's something I could do today? Compliment my spouse. What's something that I can do today for my health? Maybe say no to that donut, you know, <laughs> drink more water. Um, so it's just coming back to the present because the past is important, the future is important, but this is where we are right now, so. Yeah, <laughs> I love that, you know, that's exactly it. You know, the past is important as far as learning from it. Right. You no, know, because you wanna, you wanna learn and extrapolate on the good things and that happened before and you want to um, you want to learn from the mistakes you made and try not to make them again right right and uh, you know I'm a perfect example of that because I have uh, you know my I've learned that I made a really 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 big mistake by not being more interested in the business of Kong and water mm. I didn't buy the a Kong and machine because I was interested in making money I didn't buy it because I was interested in the business. I bought it because I was interested in it because it made sense for my health. Right. And, um, and that was a really, really big mistake that cost me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And, um, you know, so I've now what I'm trying to do to rectify that, that mistake is, is try to help other people not make the same mistake. You know, when somebody gets a Kong and water machine from me and they tell me I'm not interested in the business, I tell them that's fine. I wasn't either. I know what, I know how you feel in that regard, but you know, you might want to learn a lesson from me and at least educate yourself about the business. So you understand what it is you're saying no to, because it, you might just find that when you see how this business works and what it's all about, you might just go, whoa, hold on a second. Maybe I am interested in this business. Because had I understood how much, it, how, you know, how many different kinds of ways there are to make money within this company um, and how the, the compensation plan works, gives us incredible incentive to help each other literally to help everybody, not just to help your own team, but to help everybody, every team there is, every person there is. We have a built-in um, incentive to help everybody. I think it's really rather brilliant the way Mr. Oshiro put this thing together that, and gave us that incentive. You know, it's, it's a lot different than most of the companies I've, well, not most, all of the companies that I've ever been involved with they're all, you know, me, 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 my, 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 my team, team, you know, and, you know, keep this a secret. Don't tell anybody else because, you know, and that's the way it is with most companies. With this company, it's not that way. That's why we have people like you that are willing to come on the show and share secrets every month and, and that kind of stuff. Because, you know, once we reach a certain point within this company, we, we have we get paid handsomely to help other people. And wow, what a great thing. And it so it is, it is. That's where I, you know, I'm kind of in that, it's kind of like living in the past and living in the future. But like you say, trying to stay grounded in the now. Well, it's kind of like, you know, you think like a, a thread, 
So, you know, we have like the three, the three cords that make the braid. So like you're saying, our past, it is important. We don't want to live in the past, but we use our past to grow. Like that was a life lesson for you. And the same for me um, in this business. You know, I got in years ago and I didn't really know how to do it. And so once I decided to really go full force, I surrounded myself with people to help me. And now I'm very, very keen on helping my team too, to make sure they have all the information because I know what it's like to feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Like, you know, I don't know where to find answers. So, you know, I learned from that and I grew from that. And, you know, like you're saying, you know, Mr. Oshira is, he's so generous. He's so compassionate. Oh, to get back to the three chords though. But, you know, we, we tie in with our future goals, with the present, and they all make something beautiful. If we can kind of get that vision for the future, use the past and tie it in with today. Um, but Mr. Oshira, he's so compassionate. He's so generous. You think about your standard MLM network marketing type of company, and I don't even call this a network marketing company because those companies are based on the top 1% of the company make 90% of the income. The top 1% make 90% of the income. 90% of people in network marketing make less than $500 a month. So can you understand you have 90% making less than $500 a month, the top 1% making 90% of what the company is making. Yeah. Where our company, it's, it's not shaped where you have to be at the top and have you know, this massive customer base. Ours is a direct sales type of company that's more like a rectangle where the money is evenly based out. So people think that I'm super high up in the company because I tell them what I'm making and I'm like, I'm not. Because even at the lower levels, you are capable of making serious money. And that's the really beautiful thing about this. And Mr. Oshira, he was told in the beginning that he gave too much money to the distributors and he kept too little money for the Nagic, for the company, and that he would go out of business. And he said, no, I want to bless my people. And because he put people first, he wants to be a blessing. He, that's why this company has grown over 45 years in every country of the world. And there's nothing that even compares to it. And it's just, it's such a beautiful thing and what he's done and what he's created. And we're just so blessed to be a part of it. And, you know, you think, you know, most companies, they, they do, they pay out 40, 50% toward advertising. And he wants to give that to us because, you know, if you put our product in Walmart, who would understand it? Yeah. Best Buy, who's going to help them to use it? Who's going to explain the different uses? Who's going to answer their questions? You know, so he wanted people who've used it and experienced it to tell others about it. And then he blesses us so much financially. And it really goes back to true health and this is just the core of who who i am and what i talk about every single video that i talk about is dealing with one of the sections of the true health pyramid so physical health financial health and mental emotional health so true health for mr oshira the physical health is drinking the water because we are 70 to 80 percent water that's foundational for our health. And you know when you don't feel well, it affects everything. It affects your relationships, it affects how good you feel. It, 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 it impacts your finances. I mean, it, it, your health is wealth. It impacts everything. And then the second leg is the financial health. You wanted people, and the Japanese are really good with money. They get it. We're in America, you know, we're so in debt, like we're just so upside down. And he wanted this to be an opportunity where people, they just want to make an extra 500,000, 2,000 a month just on the side, they can do that. But if they want to make big time money in this, they can do that as well and really create a beautiful life for them and their family to give, to be a blessing. You know, Mr. Oshiro is so big on giving. And you know, when your finances are in good health, that makes you feel a whole lot better. <laughs> makes you a whole lot happier. That takes a lot of stress out of your life. You think the number one reason for divorce in America is financial stress. Yeah. So yeah. right there, um, we're, we're giving them health 
and we're giving them unlimited financial potential. So do you think they're going to be happier? Do you think their mental health is going to be better? Yeah. yeah. You know, and isn't that amazing too? Because like uh, Cynthia Briganti put out a, she's one of the top money earners in the company, if not the top money earner. Yes. But uh, she put out a post last week. Um, she didn't mention any money, you know, cause we're not allowed to mention money. But what she did talk about is she talked about the number of points she got in the month of September right. from her, from her eight points. Right. And then she got, then she talked about the number of the number of uh, sales that, that were her own direct sales. And then she talked about how many machines were moved within her entire team. Right. And she moved over five, she moved 5,000 machines last month. She had 105 direct sales and 125 point uh, sales that were inside of her eight points. And, um, you know, we, me and Dan Edlin, we did a little bit of, uh, of just running some of the numbers, you know, just kind of running the numbers based on if it was just SD501s that were being sold. And, uh, and it worked out to her making something like somewhere around about a half a million dollars in the month of September. <laughs> So it's that's pretty, pretty crazy. Cool. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, just that's that's just actually running some basic numbers and and that tells you the kind of potential that we have. And you know, here in the US we're sitting at such a small market penetration that the you know, right now we're we're like one third of one percent market penetration in the right. US. And uh, right. that's pretty crazy considering We've been in business for 45 years and been here in the U.S. for, what, 13 years, something like that. And, uh, you know, another little concept about what you were talking about, about your typical pyramid setup, you know, Dan Edlund and, and uh, Sam Tran were pointing something out the other day because, you know, Sam, Sam actually did kind of a little training talking about, you know, he was asking people what, that were in the training, what, uh, you know, what are your biggest issues? And one of the issues was that we're an MLM. And uh, he said something to the effect of, how is it an MLM when I get all the points? When I sell a machine, I get all eight points. How is that an MLM? Nobody above me, nobody below me is getting any of that money. I get it all. How is that an MLM? And the truth of the matter is it's not. It's what you said. It's a direct sales company. And, um, and it's extremely unique. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, that, I mean, they, they, it's so cool because they have other interesting ways of compensating. You know, once you reach the point where you're getting all eight points, the people that are above you, they still get a little bit. Like, for example, Cynthia, this is, you know, this discussion is just so people have a clue how this freaking compensation plan works. On those 5,000 machines that her group sold last month, she got 22 bucks a piece. Now right there's over $110,000. Just on those, just on her little override. Yeah. And then that I'm, her, I'm her direct sale. So <laughs> everything I sold, <laughs> she made good money on those. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, that's, um, that's a neat thing that, you know, just that's why she, you know, and then that doesn't even count. All of that money doesn't even count what she gets in her quarterly bonuses when, cause she's definitely reached the right. point where she gets the quarterly bonuses that are based well, off gets, of the entire world sales. And she gets her monthly bonus too, which is more than her monthly bonus is more than what most people make in a year. A poor girl's a very nice, a girl very nice money. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, even like the other day, a guy, he's in the UK. Um, I guess someone had talked to him about the water and he was asking me some questions and he said, okay, I want you to be honest. Like how much money are you making? And he's, he was asking me about passive income. So I told him how much I made last month in passive income. And he said, I don't believe you. <laughs> And I said, you have to understand these are big, this is only a few sales, but we make such big commission because this is high ticket sales. I don't have to go out and sell 500 products to make $10,000 a month. I can sell five, six, seven products a month and make $10,000 a month. That's 
crazy. Like my husband, he sells windows, doors, roofs. So his commissions range anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars. That's our commission scale. But he can't then ha hire other salespeople to also work for him and make money off of a cut off of theirs where we have that. And that's the incredible thing. And the thing about MLM, it is an MLM because every company is an MLM unless it's a sole proprietor. So people have got to get over that. Like my husband works in an MLM, the boss, <laughs> the managers, the salespeople, the installation people. Okay. Every company is multi-level. So like you have to like get over like that whole thing. But, um, but that's the beauty of, and I compare it often with real estate. So you think about a realtor, they can go and sell one house a month and make a good income that's actually going to pay some bills, but right. they don't have to go and sell that house month after month after month after month to make that full commission. They get it all up front. It's a one time direct sale. Yeah. And that's a really beautiful thing. So they sell one or two houses a month. They can make really substantial money. Now, who makes more, the real estate agent or the broker? The broker himself, herself can go out and make direct sales, make a good living. But then they also have those real estate agents who they're getting cuts from. So is that multi-level? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, this is business. Business is multi-level. But our opportunity is so unique because it's unlike anything else that you see in network marketing. And that's why like, I just don't even like to call it that. I think it's, it is, it's a, it's a true direct sales company with it, it all with also indirect sales. So if you want to call that multi-level or whatever you can, I, I, mean, I don't know, maybe we need to create our own word for it. I don't know. Yeah. But it's just so unique, but it's such a huge blessing and such huge, there's just unlimited income potential. And I'm proof of that when, I mean, if, you, if people follow my stories, like the kids get home, I don't stop. Like, and I mean, my days are packed. I don't have time to go and put a lot of hours into this. So I'm very focused when I work. And so when you start getting that, especially those passive income checks, because I've helped to train up somebody, I put in that time. And now I have my own franchise through this other person to be, a, I got a mama, I got a grandma, I got guys in their twenties, you know, I mean, all over the place and in different countries. And these are my franchises that I'm cheering them on because they're making fantastic money and I'm getting a check too. I mean, what's better than that? And yeah. we're changing lives where that's the best thing. I couldn't do this business. I've done other businesses before, skincare and all this stuff. It just wonderful products but this is life changing we are making a huge impact and there's nothing better than that to one have somebody come back and say you changed my health like i don't know if i would be alive i mean we've got several of those and then you changed my financial life like my family and i are in a whole different place like thank you like that's there's nothing better <laughs> We're so blessed. Yes. Amen. And, you know, an interesting little concept in regards to like what your husband does um, and, you know, like what I did for 30 years, which is carpet and tile sales um, and installations. Um, every time I would do a job, I was out of a job again. That's the way it is with, with all these other businesses, you know, real estate, whatever. You know, every time you sell a house, you're out of a job again. You got to go find another job. You got to go find another house to sell. Otherwise, you're unemployed. And that's the way it is with most all of these businesses. Once you get paid, you're out of a job again. And now you got to go find another job. And that was 30 years for me of, you know, just constantly beating the street, trying to find somebody who needed carpet, needed tile, needed hardwood. Yeah. Um, and every time I would complete the job, I was done. And I just got paid once. That's it. Um, the only kind of slightly uh, residual side of it was getting referrals from those people where I did a great job on their carpet and they had a friend who needed some carpet and they're like, yeah, I get all of JJ. He's the best. And, um, and then I'd get some, I'd get some more work out of it that way. But either way, 
it's just a one-time thing. Hey, Sean, what do you have to say about this discussion, brother? Good to see you this morning. <laughs> Hi, Sean. Yeah, man. Hey, honey, how are you? No, I just, I dig it. Everything you're talking about is, you know, it's always been pretty linear in the context of, you know, you go, you know, I got my master's in education. I got a job as a counselor. You work that month, you're done. You know, there's no residual. There's no overrides. There's no nothing. And, you know, so many people are just willing to put their financial stuff uh, at risk because of what they're allowing other people to tell them they're worth. And I think with this, you know, it's just having the opportunity. And again, your whole conversation about it not being a network marketing company or MLM, I should say, is absolutely on point. I've never seen anything like this. So, you know, like Jay John, I didn't necessarily plan on selling this thing right away. I shared the water like Willy Wonka slinging chocolate bars, you know, I was trying to get everybody I knew to drink it, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, you get a first couple sales and you're scratching your head going, okay, 285 something. And then you get a 570 and you're like, well, wait a sec. And then you get a, you know, it just kept going. And, you know, we talked about you know, things that I didn't do right away. I mean, Dan told me the other day because of just I've got almost 500 machines and I'm still a 6A. I've given nine years. I've given uh, away quarterly bonus checks. Didn't understand it. Now I'm starting to get it better. And, I'm, you know, I'm starting to try and leverage things better. But just having the ability to do that, you know, and having the ability to change lives on a health level and even financially for some people, you know, so it's just an amazing uh, concept. You know, I, I get why it's globally patented. I mean, he definitely did his homework in developing this. Mm -hmm. You know, I love your rectangle example. I mean, you build down and you build across. That's exactly what it seems to do, you know? And um, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just rolling with it, digging the conversation and what you guys have to say. I mean, that's exactly what we're talking about. So many people are intimidated by it, you know? So many people are locked into their, you know, they're indoctrinated to just having to have a job and they don't have the confidence. They don't have the sense of self to really reach out and find a mentor, if you will. They're boss dependent, you know, where growing up in an athlete, athletic world and understanding mentors. And I still stay in touch with, you know, some of my guys in college that were there for me. Some of my professionals, they're retired now. But I still stay in touch with them. It was a lifelong deal. This is the same type thing. And we're just having more of an impact on changing lives. You know, I went into counseling to change lives. I went into that whole scene to empower people. I, I, we can talk emotional all day long. But at the end of the day, the trifecta of true health that Mr. Oshiro talks about all the time and the foundation of this whole approach to this company's, you know, concepts are it's just it's amazing it really is you know so I just I really think that we're way ahead of the game you're talking about Cynthia and what she's done and you know people are talking about saturation and people just talk out there you know what man they don't they all think they want to know what they're talking about but at the end of the day you can't pigeonhole this company into any of those other things no. you know yeah they're good products they're good services this that and the other but at the end of the day none of them are changing lives like Enagic on all the levels that that were changing lives so for me it's again it's a mission it's not a job it's a lifestyle you know um being a single dad raising my 13 year old son right now you know i i need to be available for him and if i had a job i wouldn't be able to take off and go down to the school when something goes down you know, we got some detail to handle today. He needs a physical. And uh, all details aside, it's kind of a last-minute thing. His team, they're short, you know, and they've had to forfeit a couple games, and his hand's healed now. And so it's like he's not going to just be a manager. He's going to play the last couple of days and a couple of games. And i got to be able to – I'm as soon as I get off this, I'm going to set up an appointment with a chiropractor or somebody that can give him a physical – Go grab him, get him out. I don't have to call anybody. I don't have to ask permission. I got to sign him out for school, but I sign him right back in once we're done with our detail. I love that freedom. I love the freedom to be available to the people that really matter. 
and having this opportunity gives me that leverage and that freedom to be available to the people that I want to be available to, you know, <coughs> excuse Amen. me. So, yeah, that's my gig, man. That's my story. And I'm sticking it to it. Jay John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So coach, that's a, uh, you know, that, that's a, a pretty great analogy of, of what's going on. And, and I want to, you know, as usual, I, cause one thing we love about having Coach Minar in here is she truly is a, she's a mental expert. She, her expertise <laughs> is helping people learn how to think properly. And, um, and I, I want to give everybody a plug on her book. I highly recommend that you go get this book. I've been working with this book and utilizing it, and it is helping me out tremendously, Coach. Awesome. And uh, so every oh time you're here once a month, I like to make sure we plug your book. And, Thank uh, you. And I want to start getting into some more specifics in future episodes so that we can help people understand really how, how important having something like this is because, you know, what it really comes down to is what is your mindset? You know, if your mindset is, is a, one of, uh, of, what is it, um, um, not abundance, but scarcity, you know, if you're always thinking scarcity, you're always thinking negatively, well, you're going to get scarcity and you're going to get negativity in your life. And that's a, a huge part of what this book is about to help you learn to start thinking positively about this kind of stuff. And, um, you know, when it comes to your book, Coach, what, what is your thought process on how, because this book, kids, it's, it's something that you can utilize to do to help you with whatever it is you're doing. Doesn't matter whether it's magic or, or, you know, carpet installation or door sales, whatever. This can help you in that, in that endeavor, whatever it is. What I'd like to ask you about, Coach, is, is why, why is it such a great thing for people who are Enagic distributors? Well, what I find with my people coming in is money, their belief and their ability to succeed and their money beliefs are usually very limiting. And so that was definitely where I was. I mean, I got into this business 10 years ago and I was trying to work with it and I just wasn't getting anywhere. And, you know, I believe in times and season and that type of thing, but it was me going back to school, working through the life coaching, writing this book. And as I'm writing this book, which is basically how the book evolved is I'm studying the research and I'm thinking, my gosh, this is so good. I should plug this into a practical application. Like how can I apply this to my life? And so it was changing me and it evolved. It was a program, it evolved into the book, but in the process, it was transforming me and it was transforming my mindset, my belief and my ability to succeed and in my money beliefs. Because you look at someone like Cynthia, she truly walks in the mindset of abundance. And she will even say, when you go up to someone to talk to them, she said, I believe that God wants to bless them with this water. I mean, no matter what their health is, they need this water. This water will transform their life. You don't know what's ahead for them in the next two, five, 10 years that this water could help to prevent or whatnot. I mean, we, we just don't know. And so she said, I believe that God wants these people to have this water. So I believe the money's going to be provided. So I project abundance on the person where most people, what do we do? We go in, no matter what product it is, people in other company, we go in, oh, they're not going to be able to afford it. They're going to, you know, we, we, we project poverty. We project scarcity on them. And so we need to go in with the mindset that this is a true blessing. This is absolutely going to change their lives. And that comes back to us a hundred percent believing in the product. Yeah. And that too, the money is going to, be provided some way. It's going to manifest itself in some way. And when we shift our thinking, it affects the customer's thinking. Yes. You know, when you go in with a really negative, you're not in a good mood or whatever, that affects people around us. You know, when someone comes in the room and they're angry, that energy sends out a vibe to the whole room. You feel it. Or when they come in and they're happy, good morning, everybody. You know, it could be like, 
everybody's kind of in a frump and that one person comes in and it's like that ray of sunshine. And so we forget like how powerful our energy, our mindset is on our business. And I've definitely found when I've gotten into bad mental states and kind of gotten into a frump, my people kind of get into frumps too. <laughs> Where when I get my energy up, okay, I'm focused, I'm motivated, they, they respond to me better as well. And it encourages them and it gets them motivated. And so, you know, if we are what we think. I mean, it's because our thoughts, there it's energy you know if that makes sense it's emotion emotion is a powerful energy and so it's getting up here right because that's going to affect more but most people they do have really limiting thing beliefs in terms of like money mindset so i encourage people to to sit down and think about what has been programmed into you from childhood what money doesn't grow on trees you know there's not enough we're going to run out if you make too much money you're going to be evil and you turn into an awful, evil, greedy person because money changes people. Yeah. You know, maybe I can't handle it. You know, it's going to destroy my marriage. I mean, these are real things that we don't consciously walk around saying these things, but these are deep beliefs that we have. So until we begin to acknowledge them and we say, no, this is not a belief that I want anymore. The belief now that I have is... I want to make a lot of money because I want to bless my family and I want to bless a lot of people. The more people I help, the more money I'm going to make and the more money that I can give. There's so many, like for me, there's so many good causes that I want to give to. And I don't want to be, I mean, they say 50% of Americans retire dead broke. You know, it's like what Sean was talking about in, in creating, you know, passive residual income. People are not thinking about this. And then here they are, they're 65, they're 70, they're 80. They're still, they're working at McDonald's. They're working at Walmart. They can't quit their jobs, you know, where they're just getting by on social security. I mean, just scraping by. That's, that's not living. Yeah. Your, your, your older years should be wonderful. They should be so fulfilling and you should be able to do anything you want and travel and do those things that you've always wanted to do. And so setting up that passive income stream is so important. I love Cynthia. She says, people say to her, Cynthia, why don't you retire? She says, retirement's for heaven. While I'm here on earth, I'm here to help people. What am I going to do? Sit in my house and do nothing? <laughs> so I'm here to help people you know so for her it's beyond the money she's got more money than you don't even want to know <laughs> you know this is about walking in a fulfilled lifestyle and being able to give you have no idea how much she just gives 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 she's like why am I going to hoard this I can't take it with me right I'm giving I'm being a blessing like and she doesn't brag about all this stuff but I'm like that's how I want to be like, I just want money just to flow to me and through me. And when we allow it to do that, we go up to a whole nother level. But most people, we, we grip it. And that's fear and that's scarcity. And when you grip it, people around you feel that too. When you're talking to a customer and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have the sale or I'm not going to be able to feed my kids or whatever. They sense that scarcity, desperation, panic. We're just going in. I have all the money that I need. This person, I know that they're gonna be blessed. This money is gonna manifest. And for me, sometimes the money comes, manifests for the customer immediately. Sometimes it takes a couple months. That's okay. I just relax and I just let it come. And I just keep talking to people. And when you get into kind of like that flow state, it takes all that stress and worry off. And I mean, like, for example, my husband, he's been in these commission-based businesses our entire marriage, and we've had a lot of ups and downs. And he just finally got to a place to where he's like, I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to stress. And the money's always there. Yeah. You know, it's just been amazing. And in the beginning years, he was working so, so hard. And he said, I thank you, God, that I'm working less and I'm making more money. And since then, he's worked at least 30% less, and his income has basically doubled. And so oh. I'm in the process of working him out of his job. He's done. <laughs> he wants to come and work with me, so we're getting ourselves to it. We want to be in a really healthy place, you know, 
get more debt pay down and all this. But we are really blessed for the opportunity that we have. And that, you know, I love Daniel Demac Demacali. He says, you know, an adjic is, um, what do you say? It's a self-development course with a compensation plan. Yeah, that's exactly. You, know, you get into this company, it changes your health. Then you start thinking about the business and to start changing your finances. And then you realize you want to become a, a better person up here and you want to become a leader and it starts changing you up here. And it's just, it's such a beautiful thing. And it's such a beautiful gift that we can give to other people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this, this company has vastly changed my mindset. And I, I tell people all, all the time that, you know, a magic comp, you know, the, the Kong and water machine is literally the single most important component yeah. of true health because it's, you know, it's 75% of the equation. Yeah. And, you know, if it's 75% of the equation, that only leaves 25% on the other side. Well, what, what is that other 25%? Well, it's your diet, it's your exercise, it's your mindset, and uh, it's your environment. And oftentimes your mindset and your environment are kind of one and the same. Because when you say environment, people think, oh, the weather outside. <laughs> um, when that's part of the equation too, because of the things, you know, the toxins and the things that are in our environment, that affects our health. But there's a different side of the environment, which is like your environment of who you hang around who you talk to on a daily basis. What's that saying? You're, you know, you're the, you're the spitting image of the, of the five people you're you the, hit around the most. You're, you're the, your income is the average of the, your five closest friends. But in terms of thinking patterns too, it's the same thing. Yeah. And you know, it's like you were talking a little bit earlier about, about Cynthia's mindset when she goes in to meet with people. She's like, they're going to get this machine. They're going to love this. They're going to want this. God wants them to have it. You know, that's how I'm always talking. Whenever I go meet with somebody, whenever I get a chance to give somebody a card, get a selfie with them, whatever, I'm, I'm always like, they're going to get, they're going to get a machine. They're going to get a machine. And my wife, she always gets mad at me for that. She says, you're jinxing yourself. You're jinxing yourself. I go, no, 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 no. That's not how it works. I'm, I'm manifesting that it's going to happen. And the truth is, is it is going to happen at some point in time. Like, my, one of my dear friends just got done with a 30-day trial of utilizing our loaner machine. And she said, at this point in time, we're not, we're not ready to, to buy one, but, but I'll keep my eyes open. And I'll keep watching your posts and that kind of stuff. And, you know, she said, I, I told her, hey, that's no problem. She was all worried that I was going to get mad at her or something like that, you know, because I did, she didn't buy a machine right now. And I told her, hey, it's no big deal you know, you'll, you'll have a machine soon enough. And that's, that's what I tell everybody. You're going to have one of these machines soon enough. It's just, you know, not now, but you know, you're not saying no, you're saying not now. And that's, there's a big difference between no and not now. And, um, you know, it's like my buddy that that's on the, on the live side right now, this is vastly, you know, a couple of months ago, he was praying to have his leg amputated. Mm. And uh, now he, his leg is, is healing up and, and it's healing and it's kind of interesting because I finally after months and months and months of, of, you know, snidely comments and things like that, you know, he finally decided to actually look and uh, he, he decided to, to do the 21 day challenge and he his sole reason for doing the the 21 day challenge is he wanted to prove to everybody what a scam this was and mm -hmm. that's why he was willing to he told me this afterwards he wow. you know after he was sold cuz now he's absolutely sold he he said i'm i'm in 100% you know and it's it's turning his his massive uh problem that he has he has real bad circulation in his legs and um it's caused uh these horrible ulcers that are just really, really bad sores. I don't know if you saw the post I did about it a while back, but yeah, it's, it's changing his life. And it's just a matter of time now before he does whatever is necessary to, to get himself a machine. And, um, you know, so, but that's, a, that's kind of a par for the course kind of thing for us. There's a lot of people that have the mindset that this is a scam. And, uh, and so, you know, it's kind of our job to, to be patient and loving and, 
and help them change that mindset, right? Well, it's the process of education. Yeah. I mean, with most anything. I mean, you know, we go to buy a printer. We're going to, we want to research, right? We want to get the best printer. Like we want to make sure like this isn't like the company is okay and all these kind of things. And so, you know, it can be getting the right information in front of the right people. And you have different personality types. You have those that are highly analytical and the super highly analytical, they're going to research and research and they're not typically going to make fast decisions. And so you have to, if you begin to understand, there's four main personality types. So the analytical, again, they're gonna analyze and research and they're gonna to come to their own conclusion, but they're gonna take a little bit longer. Then you have, um, uh, for example, those that are very motive, they're very spontaneous. They're very fun oriented, they're very people oriented. They see it, they're excited, they have to have it now. They all make faster decisions. Um, there's another personality that's a dominant personality. These are a lot of CEOs, a lot of leaders. If you show them, you know, good information right in front of them, they'll make fast decisions as well. And they're very motivated by money. So the business side is very, very appealing to them. And then the fourth personality type is the ones who are motivated by helping people. So that's my personality type that money isn't really, isn't the biggest motivator. It's, it's having, making, um, helping, serving, giving, that type of thing. And those personality types will make somewhere in the middle, not a super slow, but not a super fast decision either. So you have to understand you've got, when you're talking to different people, they're just naturally gonna make decisions at a, a little different rate and that's okay. And so I know when I'm talking you know, to someone who's, who's that dominant personality, I need to show them the water, but then I need to quickly show them the business side too. Yeah. Cause the business side is really going to help to motivate them. I have something super analytic. I start printing out all those, go to PubMed, <laughs> Google Scholar. I get those documents. I get the, the videos with Dr. Hortz Fitzer from Harvard medical school. I mean, you can't debate with that. So if you can start to kind of pay attention to people's personality types as well, you can start to get the right information in front of them. Because the fun personality, you start sending them a bunch of science documents and research, they don't want that. <laughs> They're not gonna look at that. They wanna know that the water makes them feel good so they can enjoy life better and have more fun with their friends. And you know, the money side can play in that too. So you know, pay attention to people's personalities. Um, it's definitely been a big help um, we learned this and every company talks about this, but, um, Danny Johnson, um, a number of us went to her conference, um, back in January. And so she, she got the four different personality groups in four parts of the room. And she was talking about in terms of sales and in terms of communicating in their language, it's all very different. You know, we don't marry someone in our own group either. We married a different one. So we have to learn to talk in their language, but we make, we make good teams together too. And so like, even when you're building your team, like you're wanting to get a nice balance of the different personalities as well. Um, but it's really powerful to, and I love coming from career counseling and life coaching. Like I love the whole personality thing, but if you think about the four groups, it will help you. <laughs> so you realize with this analytical one, okay, this is not my fault. This is how, like, I gotta give him a little bit of time, like, cause he has to convince himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, that's one thing that's been exciting for me too, that people that are looking at the potential of this business, I, I'm actually extra, extra excited right now because my sweetie made the decision to begin her own empire. And so now awesome. we're, we're working this together and it's really, really exciting having my wife working with me. Um, you know, she's always been supportive of things that I've done. Um, but this is the first time she's ever been actively working with me um, in a business. And, and literally now that she's, she's in my downline, has her own business center. And, and now literally everything, every time I sell a machine, I'm putting it under her. And it's pretty exciting seeing her eyes light up when she got her first commission check. And, you know, that's pretty dang exciting for her. And, and as, as time goes by, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And, 
and you know we're only a few sales away from getting all eight points and so every time we direct sell one we'll be we'll be getting that whole pie and that's going to be a major transformational thing for us and and it's only a matter of time because she's been working for 29 years at a grocery store she's called in sick three times in 29 years um but you know they they haven't given her a raise in 10 years you know she's a slave to their to their time trading hours for dollars and and so i'm really excited that you know here in the next year or two we're going to be able to retire her from from that and she's going to be able to just do this and um and that's exciting because we're going to be able to spend a lot of time traveling around helping people and you know we both love that concept of this company and that you know we get to change people's lives for a living you know and it's pretty neat being able to tell people when they ask you what you do for a living you tell them i change people's lives for the better for a living how about you what do you do Amen. Like, well, Amen. Lives. How do you? What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, here, check this out. You know. And uh, so it's pretty neat being able to have that kind of a job description. <laughs> we are very, very blessed. Well, even like my husband in the beginning. You know, here I am. I'm, I'm doing more. I'm gone more. You know, I'm out and about. And you know, it was a little bit of inconvenience for him. And you know, shifting things around. And him taking a little more responsibility. And, you know, we kind of just saw it as me doing like something on the side, but when you start getting thousand dollar checks in passive income that you didn't even do anything for and here they're showing up in your mailbox, when he saw that, he realized this was the real deal. This is real opportunity here. And, you know, he's seen changes in his body. I mean, he's seen changes in my body. I mean, I've told the story of my dad. He didn't have to have, lose his colon. Uh, my mom's had such transformation. I mean, so many people, you know, friends, you know, those that, you know, we've shared the water with and are now have machines and there's nothing like it and there'll never be anything else like it again. And it's, it's truly the opportunity of a lifetime to just transform people's lives on so many levels and I love because of the life coaching that now I can use that because people still contact me. They want to hire me as a life coach. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not taking clients because I focus all that on my leaders and my business. Yeah. And, you know, you just see how I, I just, just amazing how everything has come together, but that's such an amazing thing is to get to help raise up leaders. Yeah. And then they get to raise up leaders. And it's like you make disciples and they make disciples. And that's what it's all about. Cause it's not about me. You know, Cynthia, she's like, it's not about me. It's not for my glory. You know, this is not, you know, this is about, you know, we do this for God's glory. We do this to change people's lives. You know, this is what it's all about. Don't chase the money. What you chase will run for you. Chase serving, chase changing people's lives doing what you were put on this earth to do. When you chase that, when you have that right heart, that right motive, people will respond to you differently. And you feel more open to the money as well when you get kind of that balanced out. Yeah. Amen. I think that is, what a great message. You know, I just love having you on here, Coach. You always have such great stuff to, to help, help uh, you know, people build up their mindset more positively. Because we know for a fact that that's so important, and and that's why we love having you in here the first Monday of every month. Because what a better what a better way to start out the month than than getting a jolt of of positive energy for your mind, <laughs> and and that's that's a great thing. I I definitely encourage everybody to friend up with Coach Sharon Wiley Menard on Facebook because she's constantly putting out golden nuggets that are just fantastic for us to learn from. Make sure that if you send her a friend request that you let her know why you're sending her a friend request. Send her a message to go along with it. And don't don't wait because Thank she's you. gonna run out of friends. And, you know, she ain't, ain't gonna be able to get in there if you be if you be procrastinating this. You want to get into get into Sharon's circle while you can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're sweet. <laughs> But, you know, as, as you just heard right there, everybody, this is the kind of stuff that we get on a monthly basis from this incredible angel that has been brought into our lives because of this incredible company. And we're just so grateful that you 
take some of your time. Like you said earlier, my day is like planned out to the minute all day long. I'm just running like a chicken with his head cut off every day. And uh, so, you know, we're just so grateful and blessed that you are willing to, you know, chunk out a few minutes for us at once a month because it is a blessing. And, and we're so tickled to be able to share your information. And, um, you know, we are changing lives because, you know, as I tell people, at the culmination of every one of these shows. We are the Kong family. Everybody that has a Kong and water machine is part of the Kong family, whether they like it or not, they're part of it. And, uh, <laughs> and we have this really simple mission. We just want to change the world. And um, hey, Sean, how is it that we're changing the world again, brother? Oh, it's funny you should ask, and I thank you for that. But we're changing the world <laughs> one hydrogen-rich, oxygen-saturating, supremely hydrating, glass of 9.5 at a time and a little 11.5 if we're feeling frisky from time to time. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. And one lightning bolt in a box. One incredible <laughs> guest, one amazing family, one awesome educational episode of the Khan Family Show at a time. And coach, thank you so much once again for being here with us today. We're, we're eternally grateful for you coming in here it's such a blessing every month and um we just want to say god bless you and yours and and looking you know always looking forward to seeing the things that you're putting out there because it's always so much value and um you know that's why nothing's going to stop you nothing's going to stop us we are going to accomplish our mission and um and it's exciting to be part of it with you so Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I'm very honored. Thank you. We sure appreciate it. You make sure you get out there and have a great day today. Get out there. As I tell everybody, get out there. Change the world. Starting with your own. And make it happen, you guys. Do not forget your hugs either. These things right here, you need to give them <laughs> not only to yourself, but to others. You need to give your hugs and your hoodie hoos. Let them rip. You'll find they feel really good when you, when you you're feeling down, go outside and scream to the top of your lungs a big old fashioned hootie hoo, and you'll see it makes you feel good. And um, so, Coach, thank you very much, honey. You have yourself an awesome day. Have a great week and a, you know, a rock and roll month. And we look forward to seeing you next month and, uh, and all in between. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great, Have a great day, guys. Thank you. See you, brother. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Actually, we'll see you tonight because tonight we got we got a double header today on the Con Family Show, six thirty p.m. Mount Standard Time. We're going live from Malaysia. Live wow. from tomorrow. Awesome. <laughs> Pretty excited about that. I can't wait to meet this kid. So make it a great one, kids. Bye for now. Hootie hoo!